one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one church, 100 years. When Daddy John Bright, Bishop Aaron Matthews, Evangelist Nathaniel Scipio, and Executive Secretary Hubert Stedman gathered in the little North Florida shack, one could only wonder if they imagined this body would still be here. Bishop Aaron Matthews act as if uh, when he preached, he seemed as though he was walking in that environment as he preached the gospel. Daddy Scipio was so dynamic because some people said, well, he preached out 23 churches. That's crazy. He preached out way more than that, and he literally built 23 churches himself. Bishop W. Matthews appears to be an apostle to me because he was able to uh, to touch each each one of those fingers with his thumb. You know, apostle can touch either each one of those gifts. He was he could evangelize. He was prophetic. He he was. Uh, 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 a pastor, he was a teacher, uh, and he, he was able to touch all of those fields. And For any church to survive over 100 years, there must be good leadership and effective administration. But uh, they had Ella Roger, uh, Ella George Robinson, Ella H.A. McKnight, Ella Griffin Kemp. They had, you know, a lot of them on the from time to time. That's quite a transition to be a ruling elder and then become a superintendent of a district. And then from superintendent to pastor. The Church of God by Faith was built on faith. Whenever someone took ill or needed any type of miracle from God, they simply called on the elders of the church and were made whole. I had a hearing problem in Elder, Elder John Henry Reed. He told me, he said, boy, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. He said, you won't get healed. And he touched my ear. And then I went on. I even went in the, in the service. So if I had a hearing problem, I never would have got in the service. I got healed. We didn't, we didn't know nothing about cancer, man. And uh, sugar diabetes and high blood pressure back there. No, it wasn't, it wasn't even, I ain't know about that kind of stuff, man. And then these people come up with all this kind of funny stuff. It wasn't in the church, you know. And if somebody got sick, if they did get sick, you know, or something, they called down to the church and they prayed for him. Prayer faith was prayed and, and, uh, and, 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 and the people was wrapped back up, you know, doing whatever they had to do. Stability is the mantra of this great church with only three bishops across 100 years without a church split. Faithfulness is the creed within imperfect lovers with perfect hearts, daring to live right in an unrighteous world. Yes, lovers, because they love the Lord in and out of season with a spiritual fidelity that has stood the test of time. And as they gathered in 1922 to scribble out the direction future leaders should go, they established a path that remains clear. This is the church that exists by faith. And as preparations are being laid to embrace the future, we pray for our leaders and commit to carrying out our load in this great tradition.